My name is David Gear. Today we are going to be talking about map scale. Map scale is the number that tells us how big a map is in relation to the real world. If I draw a map of my hand like this, by tracing around it, I'm drawing a map that is the same size as my hand in the real world. Okay. So, if I now say, what if I draw a map half the size of my hand? So we do this. Halfway up the thumb, halfway up the finger, halfway up the finger, and so on. That map is half the size of my hand in the real world. I can repeat that and say, well, let's now draw it a quarter of the size. So I've got a map that is the same size as my hand in the real world. I've got a map that is half the size, a map that is a quarter of the size. I can also write those numbers as 1 is to 1, or 1 is to 2, or 1 is to 4. And that's how we express map scale in geography. We use the terminology 1 is to. What we're saying, 1 is to 2, is exactly the same as saying the map is half the size of the real world. So it is a fraction. Right, we will now have a look at some maps of different scales just to get an idea of what this means. Right, here we have a number of different maps of Africa in the atlas. And as we can see over here, the map scale is 1 is to 27,500,000. That means that the distance on this map is 1 27,500,000th of the size of Africa. And if we laid them out from Cape Town to Cairo, we would need 27,500,000 maps to cover that distance. Likewise, there are a number of smaller maps here so with even smaller scales. Notice that is a fraction, so that's a very small scale. And here we've got a map that is about a third that size, so we would multiply that by three, it would be one to about, call it very roughly, 90 million. Here's one that is about a tenth of this size, which would be one to 270 million. This one is about half of that size, so we multiply that by two, would give us one is to roughly 50 million. So all of these maps in order from the largest scale to the smallest is this one first, then this one, then this one, then this one, then that one. In other words, a small scale map, the object that you're mapping looks smaller. A larger scale map, the object that you're mapping looks bigger. Don't be fooled by the large number because that's a fraction. So just as a half is bigger than a quarter, 1 to 27 million is bigger than 1 to 50 million. Right, so that's the general idea of how scale works, but how is it useful on a map? Well, we want to know what a distance is. So if we go now to our 1 in 50,000 maps, we get an idea exactly how to use that in measuring distance. 